Hey, hey, Front Row family, John Broman here. Welcome to Four Minutes in the Front Row. Is today the best it will ever be? Now, because we can't predict the future, neither one of us knows the answer to that. It's possible that today is the best in some areas of your life that it could ever be. I mean, the reality is we're not dealing the hand, so we might get something that we're not happy with. Tomorrow is guaranteed to nobody. There are plenty of instances in history where one person woke up with expectations of an amazing day and tragedy struck. That's a reality and it's an important one for us to know. Now, I don't like to live in that space. I'm the optimist. I want to think that this is the beginning and the start of all sorts of brilliant things in our lives. But I want to tell you that there is power in appreciating what we have right now and knowing that this might be the best that it ever is. So we learn to appreciate it because of that. We learn to appreciate it while in, pursuit of some, while in pursuit of something better. We learn to travel the road to our destiny and stop and smell the roses along the way. Now, I want to share a story with you that happened about five years ago, and I'm getting pictures done with a professional photographer friend in Virginia Beach. His name is Marcus Holman. And in the middle of the photo shoot, I must have commented something about my physical appearance, and he said, John, this is the best you're ever going to look. Now, in the moment, I was kind of offended. I'm like, hey, I'm getting better with age. But what I got, what he was saying was this. For so many people, when they look at a picture, you know, let's say they're 50 years old and they're looking at a picture when they were 30, they're thinking, wow, I look so young. You know, and somebody that's 70 is looking at a picture when they were 50 and saying, wow, I look so young. And his point was this that some of us get so busy chasing what could be that we forget about what's now. And because we don't know what's coming down the road, and some of it's good and some of it's not good, we need to appreciate right now. Because while this might be the best it ever is, it likely won't be. It likely is the start of something great for you. And you can rest on that optimism that probability says it's, it's going to look good, especially if you're watching this video, especially if you're living life in the front row. So we need to balance between appreciating our past, being passionate about the present moment, and being resourceful with all the things that are around us, even the challenges, and then planning for the future. Because I know people who have worked so hard, they look back and say, wow, I built that great business, but I missed my kids' lives growing up. Or I, I got 4.0 in college, but I didn't have any fun. I didn't make any friends. I also know people that get down the road and, and, uh, and they haven't achieved much success and they say, I spent so much time goofing off, I wish I would have focused a little more. I wish I would have planned a little better. So I get there's a balance between the two. But what I want to challenge you to do is to, to be aware of in your world what is the perfect balance, or not perfect, but the ideal scenario, and you have to feel this out, between... Uh, where you are now and appreciating what you have and not settling, you know, and going after something, raising your standards. You know, sometimes I've raised my standards so much I'm miserable because I never meet the standard. And sometimes the key to success is low standards. <laughs> and sometimes the key to success is raising your standards. You know, are you having trouble figuring that out? That's often why we need a coach. That's often why we need people to help us to look at our situation and say, nope, you got to go after it harder. Or some people, it's like, stop being so hard on yourself and just appreciate the moment. It's different for all of us. Likely, you're playing on one side or the other, but when you find that sweet spot, you find the flow spot where you're challenged a bit and you're kind of lost in time and you're enjoying your life to the fullest, but you're feeling it. You're, you're in the present moment. You're tapped into your talents and your strengths and you're utilizing all resources around you to create the best possible outcome. So is today the best it will ever be? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Until next time, keep living your life in the front row.